Hi, I'm Sam Ben Yaakov. This presentation is concerned with connection of inductive loads to the power line. Okay, let's see what is the problem we are discussing here. Suppose you have a transformer, and I'm talking about a heavy transformer, high power transformer, that you want to connect to the power line. The transformer, here's the um, power line. Now suppose you can choose, you can connect it at zero voltage. This is the times axis. This is the voltage of the line. You can connect it here or here or zero here or any other point. Which would be the best? Now obviously, when you have or when you wish to connect it to a, any given particular time, then obviously you need a fast switch. So this is not going to be a mechanical switch, it's going to be something like a um, triac that you, you'll fire it at a given point in time that you like to connect the transformer or any inductive load to the line. Now, intuition would tell us that the best place to connect the transformer would be at zero voltage. And the reasoning is that, well, at zero voltage, there's no voltage, there'll be no current, no spikes, everything is quiet. So that's the best place to connect the load to the line. Well, wrong. As it turns out, and we'll discuss it later, um, this is not a good point. In fact, you'd like to connect it at the maximum point, the maximum voltage. This looks strange, but there is an explanation for that. Okay, to understand the reason why you have to connect it at a non-zero or at a uh, high voltage point, let's first of all look at the transformer and how it's built and its uh, particular characteristic. And I'm especially referring to the input inductance. If you look at the primary of a transformer, you'll see some inductance. This is called the magnetization inductance. Now, the reason for this inductance is that transformers are wound on a core. Here's a core. And the primary actually comp is composed of some windings here on the core. And as you look into the primary, you see the inductance of these windings on the core. Now, cores of practical transformers have a BH curve, magnetization curve. Now, B is related to the voltage, H is related to the current. Now, this BH curve, when B is the flux density, magnetic flux density, while H is the magnetic field, this BH curve has some slope, here's the slope, and this slope represents the permeability. Delta B over delta H is the permeability. Now the magnetization inductance we talked about is related to this permeability by some constant. This constant uh, includes uh, information like uh, this, the area uh, cross-section of the core and some other parameter. Now, as you move up on this curve, you'll eventually reach a saturation region. In this region, the slope here is approaching zero. That is, the permeability approaching zero. This means that the inductance is very small. So, if you enter this region and you connect the transformer, which is saturated, or if it is connected to, the, to a voltage, very high current will develop. So, if you connect a transformer which entered saturation, you'll reach very high current. And this high current, first of all, may uh, blow the fuse. Uh, they'll open a uh, circuit breaker or an end, I should say. Also, normally, will give you some 
a sound, so a knocking sound coming off the core, the reason is that this high current is uh, actually uh, pressing or causing the core to be compressed due to the magnetostrictive phenomena. Okay, so the conclusion is that in normal operation, you'd like to confine yourself to a given region in this of this curve from here, say, to here, and be below the saturation region. Okay, now let's see what happens in a normal operation. Normal operation, as the voltage goes up and down, B will change. The reason is that B is related to the voltage. Actually, B is the integral of the voltage over the time, which means B is related to the area uh, below this uh, curve, time, time, time some uh, constant. Now, normally, when the voltage is zero, you'll be somewhere like here. And then as the voltage goes up and you accumulate volt second, that's what we call it, the integral here is volt second, uh, you'll move, B is moving up, so you'll move on this curve. And as you, you reach this point, in which you accumulated the most of this uh, volt second, you'll reach some point here. Now, the voltage reverses polarity, and therefore you start moving backward, and therefore you move this way and that way. That's the normal operation. Okay? So in normal operation, um, the voltage imposes a change in the black density, which causes uh, the point to move along the BH curve back and forth, back and forth, below and, be and above uh, this saturation limit. Okay, now back to our original question. If you have a transformer, and you are about to connect it to the power line, then obviously uh, the, you are still on the zero point of the BH curve because there was no voltage before that, no current. Uh, you may not be exactly at zero, but so, since there might be some residual magnetization, but pretty much you are at zero point. Okay, now suppose you connect the transformer at the zero voltage. Now, as you go up on the voltage, volt seconds are accumulated, and one is moving on this BH curve this way. However, since we have started at midpoint here, obviously when we reach the maximum, we'll come to this point, say, and still, as we accumulate more volt second, we should have moved to this point. Because this is the distance of B related to the full volt seconds of one half cycle. Now, obviously, before that will enter into the saturation with the yield effect that I've uh, mentioned before. There'll be a high current, knocking sound, etc. So what can you do in order to prevent this from happening? Well, if you start off at this point, again, we are at zero point here, so now we accumulate only half this area until we reach the zero point again. So we move only half way. And then on the next half cycle, we move back to this point. And obviously the, the next cycle we are okay and just move back and forth, back and forth as in the uh, stable condition. So the Conclusion is that to avoid 
entering saturation region in a transformer or in any other uh, inductive load, which is uh, wound on a core, which has some um, VH curve and saturation regions, uh, you really would like to start at a maximum voltage so that you'll accumulate only half of the volt seconds on the first half cycle. And then, of course, uh, the system will revert to normal operation. I hope you find this presentation useful.